Morning world. How you doing? Coffee with Kev. Wandering on the porch. Today I've been thinking about inspiration. <laughs> Where do I get my inspiration from? I don't know. Do we look for this? Do we look for inspiration? I don't believe we do. If you're open-minded, inspiration, I feel, finds you. For today, I've I've been wheelbarrowing well-rotted horse manure, shoveling shit. That's inspirational, isn't it? We all have a desire to shovel shit from one place to another of course we don't but my inspiration for that is knowing that it's going into my raised beds and it's going to produce me wonderful wonderful crops very well fertilized put in crops and i will have exceptional crops that's my inspiration to shovel shit from A to B. Living in this alternative way. Many of you probably have questioned, thought, or even asked, where does your inspiration come from? A lifetime of lessons is where my inspirations come from. As a child, I would avidly watch Grizzly Adams, the fictitious Grizzly Adams. No, I'm not accused of murder, so no, I'm not in hiding, as he was. He had a friendly bear called Ben. I have two friendly dogs, Ava and Nugget. I used to have a beard. I'm no Grizzly Adams. But the simplistic element of his character caught my eye and grabbed my attention. <coughs> Little did I know then that I would be doing this now. Other people who I found inspiration from, no, I wasn't looking for it. I was just scrolling through YouTube and I saw the story of Dick Pruniki. Um a guy in his early 50s just decided to get away from it all. Um, the reasoning behind him was his eyesight was failing a little and he decided he wanted to live. Key word there, live. And then um, here in the UK, <coughs> there's a, a little, very small documentary made of a guy by the name of Ken Smith. It's labelled as the Hermit of Traig. Uh, up in Scotland, Loch Traig. Um, that gentleman's story, he's well into his 70s now. Um, and he kind of had enough of life and life had given him a little bit of a bum steer, I suppose. And he decided he wanted to do something different. And off he went. Travelled to Canada, disappeared for two years. 
Um, came home, found out his mum and dad had died. Went walking in Scotland, found this bit of land and went, he'd make it his home. Not wanting to be a part of the system. Just wanting to be free. And wanting to live. A bit like me, really. I just want to live. No, I'm not young. My health could be better. Which is why I've chosen to live. I've chosen not to chase the elusive pot of gold. I've chosen not to fit in, or should I say fit in with society's expectations. I just want to be me. I just want to live a natural life in a natural environment live many many people spend many many years striving to achieve quite often impossible goals The dream of having the big house, the flash car, the big bank balance, the flash clothes, eating out at posh restaurants all the time. Then as they age, they then fight to try and maintain their health. They spend their whole lives fighting to live. I choose not to. I choose to just live. That's my inspiration. My inspiration to thrive here in my alternative world is to hopefully take a better care of my health, to live a simple, more natural life, to have a naturally, a more naturally healthy diet, and definitely a more naturally and healthy lifestyle. Where does my inspiration come from today? Yes, <coughs> need to shovel more shit so that I can have my healthy diet. To have that sense of satisfaction. Looking for inspiration is something quite often I feel you won't find. For I truly feel it binds you. You stumble across things and you think, oh, that's interesting. From that, you delve in a little deeper. As per a lot of the comments on this channel, you see me as being inspirational. 
I'm very humbled by that. Um, and hopefully I am able to inspire you um, in whatever direction or path you choose to travel. But inspiration is something that will find you. You don't have to look. I stumbled across alternative lifestyles. Not necessarily searching for, but stumbled across. And it interested me. So I delved a little deeper. I looked a little harder. And yes, I felt it was the path for me. Not wanting to be a part of any club. For clubs are congregation of people as I see it oh I've just heard my log pile collapse at the back because I've got some logs in this morning and the rumble of the logs has scared my two girls and they've run round the back of the hut wondering what it is what's the matter hey does that bother you it was only the logs on the bed in the heart. We'll have to go and tidy them up in a minute, girls. We'll have to go and tidy them up in a minute. As I say, yes, clubs. I've never wanted to be a part of a club. I've never felt that I would fit in to the parameters of a club. Being... In all manner of guises, a club is something that if you are a member of that club, you will look after fellow members of that club. Generally speaking, that is the rule. And Clubs can be a bad thing. I take football clubs. People support this club and people support that club. If someone from this club upsets a member from that club, all of that club will gang up on that club. And there you have a problem. The army very well respected they get my vote <clears throat> but what those guys have to go through is phenomenal if a member of the army was in a pub and someone upset that member of the army do you think that person is standing there on his own? No, of course not. The whole battalion is standing behind him. The same goes for the Air Force, the Navy. Even the political parties they will look after themselves before they look after you a club will always look after their members first I choose not to be a part of any club and that is what keeps my inspiration today is not wanting to be a part or be affected by any clubs because that's what they are if you upset a police officer 
the police will sit there and hound you. They'll find you, they'll get you, they'll bust you for something. It's a club. You may all argue with me on it, but that's my thoughts. Each area where there are, where I used to work, driving trucks around Europe. We used to drive many trucks together. If there was a problem with one, we all helped that other person out. And we've helped them, we kept them going. We were a club, or as we would call it in the trade, we were a family. For that tour, the amount of people on that tour, we were family. And we would do anything to help and support our family over and above anybody else. This is my family, along with this one that's turning up now. And damn right, I'd fight to the death for these two. I'd go hungry for these two, because they are my family. They're my club, and they're my inspiration. Inspiration gets us in many different ways. But the one thing you can get from inspiration, the one factual piece of evidence, what's the matter, Poppet? Is none of it will work unless you do. Find the inspiration when it comes to you. Find something that you feel comfortable with, feel that it's going to give you a better quality of life, a better pace of life. Have a look. Try. Believe in yourself. Change can be a difficult thing, but with inspiration behind you, you know you can. Anyway, folks, coffee break's nearly over. These two need to have a bit of a wander, and I've got to go back to shoveling shit. Remember, people, the button's down at the bottom, please. The chicken logo probably up there to guess. Um, thank you so, so very, very much for all of you who have donated and still donate to Mission Chicken. It really does mean the world to me. Um, and you will see the progress as it happens. But anyway, for now, from me to you, smile, be happy. You know it confuses the enemy. Ta-da for now.